Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2021 American science fiction and action movie called Outside the Wire. In 2036, a civil war between Russian insurgents, led by a criminal warlord called Viktor Koval, and local resistances in Ukraine erupted. US troops are stationed as peacekeepers on this lawless new frontier. On their first operation, American soldiers, supported by robotic soldiers called Gump, are ambushed by the insurgents. They are outnumbered, cornered, and the Gumps can be destroyed easily. While the field soldiers are struggling to escape, Lt. Harp, a drone pilot, spots an unidentified vehicle coming towards the soldiers and reports it to Miller. Considering it as a threat, he asks permission to launch a missile but is rejected by Miller as two of his men are still trapped. Harp then asks his partner, Bale, to confirm the airstrike with Capt. Bryden, but the request is rejected as well. However, Harp disobeys his superiors and single-handedly launches the missile towards the vehicle. Because of that, two of Miller's men can't be saved, causing Miller enraged, despite the fact that he manages to save the other 38 soldiers. His act of disobeying a direct order causes him to be sent to Camp Nathaniel, the U.S. military base in Ukraine. Upon his arrival, Harp meets Colonel Eckhart, who reminds him that if he survives from the mission, he will be sent back to the Air Force, but if he dies, his story will be a caution to other pilots to not disobey and break the rules. He then arrives at a building where gumps are being charged. Harp finally meets Captain Leo, who will be his superior in Camp Nathaniel. Leo reveals Harp's outstanding record in the military and exposes Harp's plan to marry soon. Leo immediately gives Harp a mission, ordering him to assist the captain to deliver vaccines to a clinic where there is an outbreak of cholera. After signing the agreement, Leo tells a story about Viktor Koval, who is responsible for a bomb in Ukraine that killed more than 25,000 people. He adds that Viktor is planning to get to Sistema Perimeter, where Russian's nuclear bomb is kept, and will use it to kill a lot of people. Thus, Leo assigns the pilot an additional mission which is to hunt Viktor. While preparing, Herp is very surprised by the fact that Captain Leo is actually an android super soldier. Before departing, the captain reveals that he purposely chose Harp because he thinks the boy could think outside the box. Suddenly Harp is confronted by Miller and his men, punishing him for killing two of his soldiers previously, but that doesn't last long as the captain comes and they depart to the clinic. On their way, Harp shows his girl's picture to his superior and turns out that the robot soldier still has some sense of humor installed within him. Their journey is delayed when they find an air truck was hit and blocked the road. The civilians are unhappy with the army and throw them with stuff. One of them hits the gump, causing it to shoot the thrower instantly. The situation starts to heat up, but Leo manages to calm the civilians down after negotiating with their leader. Unfortunately, the army is ambushed by Victor's men and then they engage in a gunfight. The insurgents are prepared as they can eliminate the gumps easily. Because of this, Leo and Harp have to travel and deliver the vaccines on foot, while Miller and his soldiers remain behind to hold Victor's men. On their way, Leo tells Harp that the Pentagon designs his face in that way because his face conveys neutrality, which makes people calm. They arrive at the refugee camp and head over directly to the clinic. While handing over the vaccines to the doctor, a sniper, ordered by Victor, attempts to assassinate Leo and Harp, but misses and hits the nurse and doctor instead. The captain manages to one-shot the sniper and interrogates him, forcing him to tell Victor's location, but he refuses to answer and eventually tortured by the local people. Harp questions Leo's decision for not reporting the situation to the base, but Leo says they don't have enough time to do that and they continue their journey to hunt Victor. In the truck, Leo explains that he has the ability to break rules in certain circumstances, allowing him to act of his own volition. They then meet Sophia, the resistance leader who informs Leo about high classified access codes to launch the nuclear missiles that are hidden in a place nearby. They realize that Victor is going after the codes and they have to prevent him. Sophia tells them to find an arm dealer who knows the location of the codes. Before they go, the men buy several weapons from her, which she claims that the money will be used to pay the orphanage. Sophia escorts them to the market and find Oshlock. His men try to attack Leo, but he manages to eliminate them easily. The arm dealer attempts to run away, but is chased and eventually captured by Leo. Left with no option, Oshlock leaks the code's location, which is in the bank nearby. They immediately head over to the bank while Sophia kills the armed dealer for being a traitor. Upon arrival, the captain orders Harp to cut out a tracker from his body, so that he won't be detected by the Russians. Believing that Victor is inside the bank, they immediately go in and Leo tells Harp to call Eckhart. After that, Leo engages in a gunfight with Victor's men, while Harp tries to help the hostages to escape. A few moments later, 
a killer robot appears and attempts to kill Leo. Thanks to their teamwork, they together manage to destroy the robot. Leo continues to find Victor in the code while Harp finally calls Eckhart, requesting backup. The rookie brings the hostages out. However, he is confused when he discovers that Eckhart sends gumps instead of human soldiers. Not long after, the Russians come out from the bank and threaten to kill the hostages. A gump then shoots one of them, causing a gunfight between them. Harp tries to protect the remaining hostages and brings them to a safer place. Harp calls the colonel back, only to find out that he is actually sending a drone and is going to destroy the entire place with a missile. On the other side, Leo spots a man, who is trying to run away after taking the codes. He shoots him, but the insurgent still manages to run away. After a long chase, Leo eventually captures him and retrieves the code. Unfortunately, the man is not Victor. Back to Harp, the missile is launched, destroying the entire bank. At this point, Eckhart believes that both Leo and Victor have been killed by the missile. The men regroup again and drive away from there. On their way, Harp is suspicious of Leo's real motives and questions what he's really up to. The captain then reveals that he has been manipulating Harp all this time, forcing him to commit an improper decisions, because the android backup system allows him to relinquish the need for human authority if the person is exhibiting poor judgments. Because of that, Harp is now unable to give command to him anymore. After that, he knocks Harp unconscious and leaves him on the side of the road where he is picked up by Sophia's man. Leo goes to meet with Victor himself, revealing that both of them have been working together all this time. Victor refuses to give the location of the perimeter, where the nuclear missile is being kept, and Leo has no option but to kill him. He eliminates all Victor's men and eventually impales Victor to death. He then acquires the location and immediately heads there. On the other side, Sophia reveals US hidden intentions in the peacekeeping mission to Harp. The pilot finally realizes that Leo is gonna launch the missile on the US. Sophia releases him and Harp rushes back to the base. He then reveals everything he knows about Leo to Eckhart and Miller, telling them that he is still alive and heading to the missile location. They believe him and Harp immediately calls Bail to locate Leo. She finds him, but he is in disputed territory on the Russian border where it is impossible for the colonel to deploy an army there. Harp then offers himself to go after him alone. Before he departs, Miller gives him a weapon that is effective against Leo. He eventually arrives at the silo where the bomb is kept and sneaks in while Leo is setting up the device and installs it to the missile. Harp arrives at the room but unfortunately is spotted by Leo who strangles him until he falls unconscious. Leo continues the installation and the countdown begins. Herp awakens and ruthlessly shoots his captain with the given weapon until he falls down. It manages to break Leo's body. The android finally reveals his real plan, saying that he wants to attack America in order to shut down the AI or cyborg program that created him. He plans to do this to prevent the country from fighting more such destructive wars in the future because the robot soldiers, such as Gumps, are the face of never-ending war. After that, Harp reports back to the base and gives a green light to launch the airstrike. The silo and the nuclear missile are completely destroyed, but Harp somehow manages to escape from there and on his way back to base. At the end of the movie, Eckhart will send him back to the Air Force and tell him that he is a hero. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.